Uh, Laura Ingram has this guy on to do. Eh, people remember this from uh, back in the day, the American Family Association, where they would do like uh, culture reports. And uh, back, back, back when I was uh, doing AM talk radio, I would I would do these prank phone calls to uh, the, the American Family Association because they would do like r- reviews of of Shark's Tale, for instance, and how it was sending like a gay transgender message because Lenny the shark wanted to cross dress as a dolphin or something like that. I mean, there was some weird thing and I would just call and, uh, you know, go go into it with them. Um, and, um, so Laura Ingram, uh, digging deep for her culture report. She brings this, uh, guy Raymond Arroyo on to talk about all of the disgusting things in culture. And, um, I mean, I'm clueless about a lot of the stuff that's going on yes. uh, around Do me. Do you know what the show is? Uh, well, that was the question that was, um, asked of Laura Ingram, and the answer was apparently no. Here is their exchange. He is trying to explain to Laura Ingram about a show on Netflix that has a bad message, according to him. You know, I was watching an episode of uh, You where measles came up. Wait, wait, wait. When did I mention measles? I don't know. It was on You. Wait, what? What? <laughs> What was on me? What are you talking about? Right? What is Raymond even hearing what I'm saying? The I never had the measles. Was on you. We never did a. We never did a measles and vaccine episode. Am I? Is this a joke? I, know. I don't even know it, what you're talking about. It was on you. It was on you. The best part is how defensive she is about. Wait a second. We don't do our anti-vax stuff about measles. We just do it about COVID. What are you talking about? And she's racking her brain like did. Did I let out the, did we slip out, like, and slip up and do, like, a measles, anti-measles vaccine? Did we color outside the anti-vax lines? <laughs> exactly. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, so go <laughs> to the beginning. People watch this again, because it really is, it, it, it's just unbelievable. Is he doing a bit, though? He seems like he might be doing a bit. Because how do you not get where her confusion comes from at this point? It's hard to tell. He's doing that, you know, he's he's really committed to, like, the 1950s baseball announcer voice, right? Yeah. Strange. He's right, coming so out of back a little bit. Yeah. You know, I was watching an episode of uh, you where measles came up. Wait, wait, wait. When did I mention measles? I don't know. It was on you. What? 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 What was on me? What are you talking about? Right? What is Raymond even hearing what I'm saying? I never had the measles. Was on you. We never did a. I never had the measles. We never did a measles and vaccine episode. Am I? Is this a joke? I I don't even know what you're talking about. It was on you. It was on you. I've never had Raymond. I've never had measles. What are you talking about? This is stupid. It was an episode of a show, Laura. What's it called? You. What is you. It's called you. I've never done a show on measles. I. I just completely give up. We gotta get out. It's a show called You on Netflix. (laughs) There's a show called Loring on Netflix. Well, done first. I'm moving on to Adele. I can't explain this to you. The pop about? singer oh. had an Oprah produced special. Oh, that's got to be a bit. It's a bit. I get it. It's a bit. No, it's the show You. I get it. It's. I get what he's doing. There's actually a show called You on Netflix, but I don't know what measles had to do with it. I've no, seen that show. That. No, we got that. For high <laughs> no. I don't think you- <laughs> No, I don't think it's a bit, though, is what I'm trying to say. I think he's that dense. I yeah, think he's doing a bit. bit. I don't know about Ingram, but he is. He's you guys know the who's on first bit, right? Yeah, yeah. that's what I said, who's on first. But right. I think they're doing a bit. They have to be doing a bit. I mean, at least I don't he... think she was. <laughs> I, don't think she, I don't know if she was. No, but they're he, in on it. Yes. Yeah. But what? Yep. so, I mean, why? <laughs> I'm getting some free publicity why? there. Why? I mean, that they, they show the human side. We are hip with the Netflix. We just, show no, you. It's, it's more. It's more, we just did the old Abbott and Costello routine. Yeah, I you mean, fill your show up with crap like that. You don't have to like do an, actual anti-vax messages. Right, exactly. I uh, hope you will take a moment where we we uh, interrupt this uh, racist uh, white supremacist uh, uh, moment with a little bit of lighthearted comedy. You <laughs> think we are monsters? They had to be. They had yeah. to be had to be faking it. Does she look different? A little. A little. I was like, wait, this is, she doesn't, I didn't I would have never recognized her in a million years. I mean, not that that matters, but 
she looks vastly different. Like she's a different human being. On who's, that. who's on that? It's a who's on you. Who's on you? Right. Who's on you? Who's on you? Who's on you? Um, yeah, I, 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 I'm pretty sure that's nobody. Fake. I think I, I think it's fake, and then they're going to come out tonight like we played a joke and blah blah blah. I'm sure their audience got it. Yeah. Uh, yes. 